perhaps no issue in, in our lifetime has impacted virtually every individual on the planet as profoundly as the coronavirus. At the World Economic Forum, we are really convinced that our collective response will be the great task of our time. The private sector has a major responsibility in this process, and boards are crucial in establishing sound corporate governance to build a more sustainable and more resilient economic model. With a, with a long term perspective, which means addressing climate change and its impact on business. The pandemic has accelerated many of the worrying trends that were already present before the current crisis. But now, as a consequence, we need nothing short of a great reset, which is a comprehensive drive to identify and address the global systemic challenges that we face. Pre-COVID, both investors and boards had been turning their attention already to how leadership in the boardroom and specifically to how engagement by non-executive directors could serve as a, as a powerful agent for change in the way that companies reimagined their business in, in a net zero world. Without the support, and actually beyond that, without a, a clear mandate from boards, the transition to more sustainable business models will never happen in the speed and depth that we urgently need. For non-executive directors of all companies, whether financial, industrial, or others, the increase in the importance of climate change presents a set of brand new challenges. And many directors are not yet properly equipped to deal with them, to deal with them as effective as with other more traditional board issues. In practice, this means that despite the rising demands of investors regarding board governance of, of climate change, Few boards can claim that they are approaching the subject with anything like the rigor, the professionalism, that they do to other core board functions, be it succession planning, audit, risk, or strategy. In industries such as energy, agriculture, transportation, not to mention banking, insurance, and many others, climate change features rarely in the skill set of existing directors. The topic is typically owned by management. It often lies outside the NED's comfort zone. Many directors downplay it, saying that it's management's responsibility. Well, I question myself, would they say the same thing about audit, strategy, risk management? So to move into practice, the board must play its part in fully understanding and driving the company's climate transition strategy. It must bring informed external perspectives, constructive challenge, but also strong support when difficult decisions are needed to steer a company in the face of the short-term pressures. Boards can start by making the right questions to promote open, candid discussions about how the company is transforming itself to continue leading in a net zero world. Questions such as, what lessons has the board drawn from the current crisis that may have implications for addressing climate change? How does the board define its oversight mandate? What's its role in setting the climate transition strategy? How does the board consider climate change into scenario building? Has the board mandated management to set net zero emissions targets? Does the board incorporate KPIs 
into the remuneration plan that are aligned with the roadmap to those net zero environment? How does the board consider stakeholders' input in determining its transition strategy? With boards driving this type of discussion, we will be taking a great step, a great step to have companies with business models that are fit for a net zero world. 